What up, food tubers? Mr. Oliver here. Today is a beautiful day because we are making the most incredible gluten free, wheat free protein loaf. This is perfect for people that care about sports and nutrition and post gym or workout or game. This is amazing for muscle repair and muscle growth. And to help me today, I've got two brilliant boys. I've got Billy and I've got Jay uh, from F2 Channel. Tell my audience about what you do, guys. So basically, we're a football channel that does lots of different tutorials, um, amazing tricks and skills. Um, we call it Techers. What's Techers? Oh, you know what Techers is. Oh, you know when you knock up someone with a bit of swears? Oh, All right, basically. I might have to up my game. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable skills or trick shots, anything that involves uh, techniques. I'm I'm techers when you've got just techers in the whole kitchen. Saying. You must yeah. be popular with the ladies, though. Um, I'm married, like so that. I'll let Jess answer that one. Okay. So, uh, on to the meal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you need a tin but you can cook it in anything. We're gonna use, this is called gram flour. We want about 250 grams of that. That is made out of chickpeas. Chickpeas? Yeah, that's just dry chickpeas, ground down. Great color, right? Uh, that's in a whole load of like Indian dishes uh, and color. flatbreads and stuff like that. Almonds have got a fantastic color, 100 grams. It's a nut and it's ground. So this is really nutritious. We've got some seeds here. Chia seeds in there, poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame and pumpkin seeds. 100 grams of that. I have got uh, some tepid water there, so it's sort of room temperature. I'm gonna put in seven grams, which is one sachet of yeast. So that's gonna give it the lift. This is 370 milliliters of water, and we make that just warm. Put the yeast in there, add olive oil, so that's a really good healthy fat, about four tablespoons. That's just gonna give it a nice richness and a nice pinch of salt, sea salt I'm using, and a bit of marmite. Marmite? Yeah. Never would have expected so that. three teaspoons in there. It gives it a wicked hum. Wow. If I come down on one side of loving it or hating it, it would be hating it. But okay. in bread... Well, let's see, because this knows. is... Yeah, this is a kind of fairly big flavour, oh. but it kind of, once it cooks, it sort of disappears. Have a little stir up, bro. Left hand is stir, have a look at your stir in it, left hand. What's wrong with left hand? Well, look how you're stirring it. Don't be prejudiced against left-handed people. <laughs> Isn't it a little bit of a stir, Jess? I'm stirring it. It's a wonderful stir, especially for a left-hander. No. Oh, we're really getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> Handful of linseed in there. I know some of those ingredients might be new to you guys. The seeds, uh, the linseeds, the almond flour, the chickpea flour, but guess what? They're in every single supermarket across the country. The more you can fill your body with the goodness, like, just the quicker you're going to repair after exercise, the more astute you're going to be in fast and reactions. Uh, your muscles and your bone density will be at optimal levels. I need to get four eggs in there. Let's see what your egg cracking is like, boys. Oh, is this a little Billy V. Jezza? Oh, simple. Bang. Just like, oh, subtle. That's two-handed. See if you can do one-handed. And outwit your mate. Oh, he did. Good. Come in on that, come in. No, that's for the protein. Talk to me about what, the, that is, what, that, the shell? That shell is for the protein. So the only way to do it is just... There you go. That's yeah. decent. If you want to have a little stir now, we'll see a right-handed stirrer. This is right. how you should do it, OK? Um, oh, I see what I mean. <laughs> Jez, you right, mate? Mm -hmm. Rosemary, this is going to give it wicked flavour. I'm just going to finely chop it. So we're going to pour that into our little mould, try and get everything out. Superhero styling. So, in the oven, we're going to go in at 190 degrees Celsius, which is about 375 Fahrenheit. We're going to cook that for about 45 minutes. So, it's technically more of a cake than a bread. Yeah. But it's a protein loaf. Mm. It is a bread. So, boys, mm. while that cooks, 45 minutes, how about some skills with an orange? Sounds Fruity. Good. Should we do it? Come on, boys. Fruity. <laughs> oh, very nice. Nice. Just a minute. Oh! I sliced it! You see? <laughs> I was trying to do like the, yeah. the quarters at football. So boys, that's what it looks like. There's your protein loaf. Have a look into the inside there. Look, that's what you get, guys. So crispy on the outside, full of the good stuff. Beautiful seeds, nuts. I like just to put different toppings on it. Sour cream, you can put hummus on it. Yep. You can put like, you know, you can just go sort of cheese on top if you want. Yep. But have a little try. Um, that you can toast up, really, really hot. Um, serve it with sort of cured meats, ham, tomatoes, mm. all sorts of things. Mm. So Jamie, we've just played a football match. Yeah. We've done our loaf. How much of that should we be eating? Well, it depends, male or female, how long the game was, but let's just say you burn 400 calories, 500 calories. You can have a good couple of slices there, maybe three. This is really nice, really nice. 
So there you go guys, that is the gluten-free, wheat-free, protein loaf. You can do loads with it, all sorts of different toppings. If you want inspiration and ideas, check out my book, Everyday Superfood, loads in there. Also, we're gonna do some cool stop frame animation about different toppings and stuff as well. Don't forget to check out the boys' channel, F2. It's wicked, it will blow your mind, no matter where you come from, who you are, it will blow your mind and you'll wanna share it with your friends, because uh, you guys do incredible things. It's almost as good as this. Yeah, don't worry about the oranges. <laughs> what you do with football is incredible. Uh, thanks for coming. Cheers, mate. Lovely to see you. Thank you very much. Until next time, see you guys.